I changed my opinion about this. Always be in my um, empties. My first um, disappointment. So the only thing I like about this product is the smell, nothing else. Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anastasia and today we have an empties video. I have a lot of hair products that I would like to review. I also have some skincare and a bit of makeup as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Also guys, uh, trigger warning, uh, this is not going to be a very positive video. Uh, obviously, this will be my honest opinion and um, I would say 80% of these products are not my favorite just so you know so let's start with my all-time favorite uh, volumizing sprays foams and so on so volumizing product and uh, we'll go to my least favorite products okay so let's start my all-time favorite product and you'd know this again if you've watched my other videos kevin murphy i'm obsessed with kevin murphy i already have like two backups of this anti-gravity spray um there is also anti-gravity gel uh don't use that. I think that's for someone who has shorter hair. Uh, Anti-gravity spray, however, it's amazing. This one gives you a lot of volume. It also gives you texture. It makes your hair look thicker and it makes the hair super, super shiny. I highly recommend this. Uh, you only have to apply this at the root and don't apply it too much because it will weigh your hair down. Uh, another one of my favorite, and my sister gave this to me, this the anti-aging, uh, this is like Biostatic Anti-Aging Fluid Volume. Uh, this is a very good product. You're also supposed to apply this on damp hair, on your root only. Uh, they call this the hair filler. Not quite sure about that. However, it does give you a lot of volume at the root. It makes your hair super fluffy and airy. This is how I describe this. Um, it doesn't make your hair look thicker as this does i would say however it's a very good product and um, i love going between the two so definitely we purchase this one once again uh, very very good product uh, if you can find it because as i've noticed it's not very easy to find um, la biostatic in uh, in the uk but another very very good hairspray highly recommend one of my all-time favorite products i spoke uh, more in depth about uh, this product in uh, my um, uh, best thickening uh, products for thin fine hair and I'll link the video down below uh, so I will uh, not talk too much about it because this is going to be a super long video um, best conditioner for thin fine hair highly highly recommend makes your hair super shiny super sleek has an amazing smell um, all-time favorite product highly highly recommend this is the Kevin Murphy plumping rinse I finished this, but I have uh, another one on the way already. Highly, my all-time favorite. So, as for seal, uh, this is an amazing product if you have each scalp. So I use uh, a lot of uh, foams um, for the volume and this tends to uh, dry out your scalp. Uh, in order to uh, solve this problem, I discovered as for seal. I'll I always mispronounce this, it's all fossil, but never mind. Um, this is the best product for dry each scalp. I tried so, so many products. Uh, this is the best one so far. Highly, highly recommend. Again, I spoke about this in my all time favorite uh, hair products video. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Next, we have hair foams. I use hair foams on a regular basis for a uh, few years now um i do have my favorites however uh, they are not from the drugstore and obviously they are a bit um um pricey i would say so i thought i would try some drugstore ones um uh in the hope that i will find something that i would love so this one i'll show you all of them together because they're all the same give nothing for my hair this one so the first one is Ossi uplift your hair waste of money uh v v05 or v05 i'm not quite sure how to pronounce this brand yes so uh big volume mousse i love the packaging but it did nothing for my hair yes 
did nothing for my hair i'm not sure maybe they work for curly hair or something but they literally didn't uh, work out for me i didn't check the reviews online for this product so i have no idea to be honest i just uh, grabbed them while i was in uh, super drug um next one uh this product i would recommend so this is we got to be volumizing spray mousse for big volume and it promises push up root plump and ultra hold um, not necessarily it's a good mousse i would say um, a um, two and a half out of five um, i use this up as you can see the other ones they're all full all of them are full and they're all going to the bin this one i managed to use up it gives you um, decent volume um, but I would not repurchase this again because I discovered my all-time favorite and if you guys checked my other videos you would know about this already uh, so as you might know already uh, Kerastas Mousse Buffon I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly I don't speak French I uh, use my all-time favorite mousse uh, and I also like the Kerastas Densific um, however the slight issue with these products is that they are a bit pricey uh, so let me give you an example these ones are 21 pounds each i believe uh, this was the price when i last checked and this one is around i would say three pounds it's so huge price difference the only problem with this product is that this will dry out your scalp, hence why I am using the Asphalt Seal Shampoo, which um, solves the problem. So since I started using uh, these two together, I've never had any issue with dry scalp or anything along the lines. So highly, highly recommend if you want an um, alternative for the Kerastas uh, Mousse Buffon. Next category, guys, we have dry shampoos. As you can see, I don't have that many. Uh, the reason being is because I only use the, uh, mainly use the Batiste ones and I thought I would not show you the same bottle in uh, 10 different um, versions. So uh, I prefer the original one, I the classic fresh one basically. I don't like the other smells, I find them very artificial and I don't like that. So I mainly use the original one. Uh, we all know Batiste, they're not the best. Um, on the market but they are the not the most affordable ones but they do the job for um, what they're worth um, i've also tried the call up one i didn't like that one at all i find that that one leaves uh, your hair super sticky uh, so i definitely prefer the batiste ones obviously they leave a residue on your scalp um, they're not the most amazing for dark hair like mine you have to really work it um, in very well in your hair or apply it the night before uh, so this is one of my tips this is what i usually do if i know that i don't want to wash my hair the next day which happens very rarely but it happens um, i would apply this the night before so it will absorb overnight and you wouldn't uh, see it that much in your hair i thought i would also try the dark colored one so the batiste uh, dark hair shampoo um i don't find this as efficient as the original one i find this softer gentler um basically not a fan of this i've only bought this once and i'll not uh, repurchase this again yes it doesn't um you can't see it in your hair when you apply this because obviously it's dark however it stains your um, fingertips and if you have um, light nail polish on your nails it will stain that as well and i don't like that um I would have accepted that if it was uh, super efficient, let's say like the original one, but it's not. You have to apply a lot of products uh, in order for this to work. And uh, yes, I don't like the dark residue that it leaves on my uh, fingertips and nails. So next, we're gonna talk about Chloran uh, dry shampoo. This is uh, the best dry shampoo I've uh, tried so far. Uh, saying that however it's a bit pricey for 150 ml um, i use this like three times and it's finished hence why 
as I said earlier, I've decided I will only use the Batiste one. First of all, I don't use dry shampoos that often, so um, it's not a problem for me if, uh, if a product dries out your scalp because I don't use them on a daily basis. Um, I only use them on the rare occasion where I've decided I will um, not wash my hair tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen sometimes. However, um, going back to Chloran, very good product. It gives you a lot of volume it's very gentle on your scalp uh, so it will not irritate your scalp it will not make your scalp itchy as um batiste would just so you know um this one is the natural version i've also tried the one with uh, oat i believe it was uh, very very good highly recommend if you can uh, give it a try please do and guys if you have any good recommendations for dry shampoos please please let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear your opinion also if you know any other amazing product basically if you have a sa uh, same hair type as me and you have amazing uh, tips or um, i don't know hair products that you think i should try please um write them in the comments down below i would highly appreciate that and i would definitely make sure to try them so thank you for that and that was the chloran dry shampoo heat protectants i only have three here as you can see so let's start with um, ghd so this is the ghd heat protectant i believe they only have one on their website it's a very good heat protectant it does the job um it has a very fine mist uh, however this leaves your hair a bit damp so if you want to use this uh, let's say to uh, strain your hair or to curl your hair you'd have to apply this i would say maybe 15 20 minutes before um straightening or curling your hair other than that it's a, a very good uh, heat protectant it does the job um have only good things to say about it and uh, nothing too bad don't apply too much it might uh, weigh your hair a bit down but other than that it works perfectly fine very very good heat protectant and it's um, very affordable as well i believe it's like 17 pounds unless they increase the price recently a joyco ironclad this is amazing and i'm gonna tell you uh, exactly why this will last you for ages uh, this has a very fine knit and um, in comparison to the ghd one this is an aerosol so let's say if i wanted to curl my hair right now uh, i could just spray this on and i could curl my hair straight away this will not make your hair damp this is what i'm trying to say so you don't have to wait in between um actually applying it and then curling your hair or straightening your hair it smells lovely this will last you for ages it uh, holds the curl as well uh, it is supposed to help with um, freeze i'm not quite sure about that um, but other than that it's an amazing uh, thermal protection and this will definitely last you for ages uh, don't apply too much though because it will make your hair a bit um, crispy Yes, other than that, very good one. Next one, uh, we have uh, Paul Mitchell, and this one is uh, Hot Off The Press. So when purchasing this, I was under the impression that this is a thermal protection. However, this is a thermal protection hairspray, guys. So this is very, very good uh, when you're uh, curling your hair because it's two in one. So basically you have thermal protection and you also have a hairspray it is supposed to um, protect you from freeze uh, when you're straightening your hair or curling your hair uh, however it doesn't really do the job i made an experiment so basically sometimes i uh, walk to work and as you might or might not know i live in london and it rains very often in here uh, so one morning i decided to try this on uh when it was raining so i've applied it i strained my hair and when i got uh, to work guess what my hair was quite freezy so it doesn't really do the job however it does hold the curl um and it's good for that so basically you get a two-in-one product you get a bit of uh, heat protection and also a hairspray i purchased this years ago and i still have a lot left as you can see um they've changed the packaging now i believe as well does the job good heat protectant if you are curling your hair quite often i would say so let's start with my first um disappointment this is the Co um 
Dallas Thickening Conditioner, as you can see. Um, the bottle is almost full, so I would say it's up till here. Uh, this did not work for me. Uh, I was super excited when ordering this because the reviews online uh, were great. Everyone kept saying that this is an amazing conditioner. Also, it, wa it was not very easy to get hold of this. Um, so uh, what a disappointment it was when I first tried it. So when I first tried it, I thought I might have used too much product. This is why it made my hair look a bit dirty. Uh, so next time I use less, no, same story, same thing happened, so this is a no for me. I do believe this might um, work for someone who has uh, thicker, frizzier hair. Um, it might work for you guys, however, if you have super fine, super uh, like liquid hair, um, this will not work for you. So this is the Dallas Iron Co Thickening Conditioner. Next, we're going to talk about the Redcan Extreme Range. Uh, they have a different packaging now. These are my old products, just so you know. They look a bit different now. So, uh, this one is an amazing range. I also have a mask here. Um, this is an amazing range if your hair needs a bit of uh, TLC. So, if your hair is um, um, highlighted, treated in any way shape or form uh, if your hair is coarse um, also if you have frizzy hair this will work amazingly for you i love all of their products and um, the smell is divine it smells like candies i love this smell uh, so this is the anti-snap treatment this is the shampoo i also had the conditioner i'm not sure what that is uh, extreme length primer i used to use uh, this one as a conditioner and it worked amazingly for me i don't know why it's called a primer i used to use this as a conditioner and it worked perfectly fine for me also the uh, mask i was not very impressed about the mask but it worked fine i guess um, um, overall, if you need a bit of TLC, if you have uh, treated, highlighted hair, amazing, amazing range, uh, give it a try, it makes your hair super shiny, it will not weigh your hair down if you have super fine hair, uh, it will make your hair shiny, basically worked from the first time, super excited about this as you can see, so give it a try if you can. Another one of my favorites for when I was uh, blonde, so when I had highlighted hair, is this Pureology uh, Best Blonde Conditioner. Uh, this was amazing. It, this hydrates your hair really, really well. It also tones your hair. So it's a uh, two-in-one. I used to use a lot of um, uh, toning shampoos. However, toning shampoos are extremely drying um for your hair this one was amazing super hydrating uh, it had an amazing smell yes from what i can remember i have a bit of but you know you can see the color so it's um very purple as you can see this is the color of the condition i'm not sure if you can see it but basically it's super purple and um, it would uh, tone your hair really really well so if you have uh, highlighted hair this is an amazing hydrating um conditioning toner let's put it this way um very very good product highly recommend i only tried this small bottle because um i was uh, already dying my hair brown so my natural color um when i started using this so i didn't buy a full bottle however if i had highlighted hair i would definitely repurchase this product again very very good product right next so uh, if you've watched my other videos, you'd uh, already know that I am uh, absolutely obsessed with the Revitalash Thickening Shampoo. This is an absolute gem if you have um, fine hair, if you want a bit of texture, if you want volume. Um, brilliant product, worth every single penny. Um, I uh, speak more in depth about this product in my Revitalash video. I will link this somewhere here or down below. Uh, so I will not uh, talk too much about it. On the other hand, guys, the thickening conditioner is super basic. So uh, this did nothing for my hair. Yes, it uh, provided a bit of hydration. However, bear in mind, if you have um, a super dry end, you would need to pair this with a leave-in conditioner because this is not very moisturizing. Uh, it did not thicken my hair, didn't make it look in any way, shape or form. Basically did nothing exciting for the price, hence why I would 
not recommend this conditioner although it has amazing reviews online i must say so if you check the reviews online you see that everyone is super impressed by it i was not however so um take it um as you wish moroccan oil moisture repair shampoo and conditioner guys i couldn't wait to finish this product these are huge bottles for me and i could not wait to finish these products i got so bored of them um i don't remember this doing anything amazing for my hair um no this is a no for me i would never repurchase anything from moroccan oil other than their hair oil which i use on a regular basis i always have a bottle of that uh, but that's a different story um i was not impressed with this next will be a few chloron products i have uh a few shampoos and i believe this is a conditioner yes and i also have another product but i'll talk uh, about that one a bit later so let's start with the volume shampoo so for the price tag this is an okay shampoo uh, it has a nice scent however it doesn't give you too much volume it doesn't uh, clean your hair very well I can't tell it does anything uh, extraordinary for your hair but if you just need a good shampoo that it's not too nourishing for your hair um, this is a good shampoo I guess for your price tag next one this is a chloran mango nutrition shampoo so the only thing I like about this product is the smell nothing else so uh, not recommend if you have um, fine hair it will weigh your hair down, it's a bit too hydrating, uh, I don't like the texture, you can see the color in here. Um, yeah, so basically it contains mango butter and it's for dry hair. Um, however, after using this, my hair was still dry, hence why I would not recommend it. So this is Chloron um, Nutrition Shampoo. Next one, I have Chloran Anti-Pollution. Uh, this is an okay conditioner. Uh, it does the job, it conditions your hair. Um, this is coming off. It's an okay conditioner for a price. Uh, nothing extraordinary, uh, nothing bad to say about it either. So um, you can give it a try if you'd like. A lot of uh, negative reviews. Let's uh, talk about something positive. Uh, this is one of my favorite masks. This is the Shiomura. Moroto Volume. This is an amazing product if you have um, thin, fine hair. Um, it makes your hair super, super fluffy, super hydrated. It gives you a lot of volume but doesn't weigh your hair down. Um, I love the effect that um, this has on my hair. Um, I must say it's a bit pricey for uh, what it does. However, it's a very good mask if you have super fine hair. Um, as I said, it really hydrates your hair. However, it doesn't weigh your hair down. Uh, it makes your hair super shiny. Uh, highly recommend if you'd like to try it. Uh, this is Vichy Mura Murota Boil. Positive, very, very positive review. Next, we are going to have a lot of Kerastase products, guys. This used to be one of my favorite ranges before, not any longer, I must say. So I have quite a few products here with me. And um, I want to tell you a bit about each one of them. So the first one is the uh, Genesis range. As you can see, uh, these were like travel sizes. Amazing for um, you to try if you're not sure which range would work uh, best for you. Um, so this one is a fortifying treatment for weakened hair, uh, prone to falling due to breakage. I'm not sure this did uh, something visible for my hair for the price tag in comparison let's say with the uh, red can extreme range however it was a very nice treatment for um, um, fine hair i would say uh, if you want a bit of volume uh, not too much hydration uh, this worked perfectly fine uh, this is uh, i would say one of the only ranges from Kerastase that doesn't weigh your hair down if your hair is super healthy. Um, I'll tell you in a second why. Uh, so great if you want to try it out. Um, I was not amazed by it, however it's a good product. Kerastase uh, Genesis range. Next, as you can see I have quite a few masks here. 
and I also had the uh, chronologist shampoo um, so for me all these masks they do the same thing they are um, also guys just so you know I used to use this again when I had blonde hair so um, I would say they all do the same thing. They're super uh, rich, super nourishing, super uh, hydrating, except this one, I would say um, the um, nutritive mask. This is a bit lighter in comparison to the other two. Um, let me show them closer to you. So uh, this one is amazing if you have blonde hair, if you have treated hair, highlighted hair, super nourishing, same goes for this. And I also have the shampoo. So I would use all of this uh, if I had frizzy hair, uh, highlighted hair, treated hair, um, coarse hair as well. If your hair is curly, uh, this might work perfectly for you. If you have hair like mine, which is super liquidy, fine, I, this will not work for you. It will make your hair greasy the next day because I tried using this with my natural hair and it literally makes my hair look dirty the next day. So um, it is a bit too nourishing for um, healthy hair. Um, so finishing with Kerastase, I want to say that I do believe that Kerastase was very innovative quite a few years ago. Not any longer. We have so many uh, much better brands at the moment. I feel that they are quite old fashioned. Uh, and um, their formulas don't really change and they don't come with anything new. I don't know. I was a huge fan of uh, Kerastase like maybe a couple of years ago. Uh, not any longer, I must say. Uh, however, they do the job. Um, a bit um, too pricey for what they actually do. Uh, but they're good masks, I would say. Well, next, we have my favorite category, which is skincare, guys. Um, I have uh, quite a few products here that I will definitely be repurchasing again. I don't have any product that I dislike in this category. So let's start with the uh, Glycolic 10 Overnight Renew from SkinCeuticals. Um, so this is a um, overnight glycolic cream. Um, this tingles a bit when you apply it, so I would definitely not recommend this for someone who is not used to acids. Um, gives you an amazing glowy, smooth skin the next day. Um, um, it's very emollient, so you only need a pea size amount of it. Uh, very, very good product, highly recommend. I think uh, they had an issue with packaging before. It was... Um, well, let me actually show you the texture so as you can see it's very emollient and hydrating actually i have a very similar product from zedo let me show you this one so this one is the exfoliating accelerator i already have a backup of this um i would say exactly same product however this one is more like a, a serum not very hydrating whereas this one is uh, more like a cream so this one is a bit more hydrating. Both do the same thing. So they provide a uh, uh, gentle exfoliation of the skin, cell turnover, um, help a bit of pigmentation, um, make your skin glowy, radiant, and so on. I love both. So I already have backups of both because I love to alternate between the two, between the texture of the two, because the product is, I would say, more or less the same. Um, but I love uh, the texture of this. Um, when I feel that I need a bit more hydration and I love the texture of this when I feel that my skin is breaking out and my pores are congested, if it makes sense. Um, I've also finished the glycolic um, cleanser. So I, um, I love to use this one in summer. Um, you can also use this cleanser as a uh, mask. However, be very careful. Uh, to not leave it for too long, otherwise your skin will become super sensitive and um, yes, um, you might irritate your skin. Um, it's a very nice cleanser um, if your pores are congested. As I said, I love using this in summer, I would not use this in winter. It has 8% uh, glycolic. Um, next, I have the Radical Night Repair from um, Zainobaji. Um, again, I spoke about this in my um, Zainobaji video, I will uh, link this somewhere down below, so I will not talk too much about it. I will not be repurchasing uh, this one again, 
uh, the reason being I have a full tube of SkinCeuticals 1% um, Retinol which I want to finish and after that I actually want to start using Retin-A hence why no need uh, for this one however this is a great product not for starters uh, if you've never used retinol um, don't even put this on your face because um, as i said your face will be on the floor so yes be very careful with this one but it was a very good product my skin got used to it at the moment so um doesn't really do too much for my skin hence why i want to start using the retin a uh, daily power defense finished this one again this one is a professional size guys in case you're wondering why the packaging looks different um, I changed my opinion about this so in my video I'm saying that this one is a waste of money I still think this is overpriced for what it actually is however I started enjoying this as a um, day cream and I'm actually contemplating of uh, purchasing a new bottle not sure about this yet but contemplating so this is the daily power defense um iridina duo these are the best eye drops guys so if you have uh, sensitive eyes like me uh this is uh these are the best um eye drops you can't buy them in the uk I always purchase them from europe but if you want like super uh white whites of your eyes these are amazing for that. I have a few professional sized serums from SkinCeuticals here. So Phytocorrective, um, this is amazing for um, irritated or sensitive skin. So I tend to use this after I've um, uh, done uh, microneedling or if I've overdone it with retinol. Uh, so this is amazing at um, calming down your skin, hydrating and soothing your skin down. Um, I finished this bottle, I have um, a new bottle, this one, and as I said, I always have it as a backup if I've uh, overdone this with my retinoids. Uh, B5, hydrating B5. Um, at the moment, I won't be repurchasing this again, so basically this is a hyaluronic acid um, paired with uh, vitamin B, super hydrating um, gel serum. However, at the moment I'm using the HA Intensifier from SkinCeuticals, which I would say it's a upgrade for this serum. So from what I've understood, the um, molecules in the HA Intensifier are smaller, hence why they penetrate deeper into your skin. So I prefer that one at the moment. So we'll not be purchasing this one at the moment, but it's more affordable and uh, it does the job. So give it a try if you'd like. Uh, Floritin CF, so we all know about the vitamin C from SkinCeuticals, they're all amazing. Uh, Floritin CF, um, I used to use this one until they came up with uh, Silymarin CF. So at the moment I'm using Silymarin CF because I have uh, combination skin. Um, both are great. I would not be able to choose uh, between the two. They're both amazing. Uh, they do the job. As you guys know, SkinCeuticals, they have the best uh, vitamin C serums on the market, in my personal opinion. But again, if you have any recommendations, uh, for something that you think I should try uh, please write it in the comments down below I will be more than happy to try some new products lip balm so if you guys like uh, tinted lip balms I would highly highly recommend you try this one uh, so I have this in every single bag and this is the lipstick queen and it's in the shade medieval and as you can see i finished this one but it gives you a very nice like cherry tint and it really plumps up your lips so whenever i apply this product uh someone asks me if i've uh, had my lips done so um i think that says a lot amazing amazing product it really plumps up your lips another product that will always be in my um, empties this is the zedo exfoliating polish this one is amazing this one is my um, favorite skincare product so i wouldn't be able to go a week without this product uh, i have like backups of this 
in every single corner of my house. Uh, I'm obsessed. Highly, highly recommend you try this one. All-time favorite product. Uh, Zedo exfoliating polish, guys, by the way. Last but not least, guys, we have uh, makeup. I have uh, mascaras first. So these are all the mascaras I will be talking about today. And I will start with, uh, sorry about the noise. Mm -hmm. I will start with uh, NARS, and this is the Climax Mascara. I am not quite sure why everyone is so obsessed with this mascara. This is super messy to apply. As you can see, the brush is huge. For my eyelashes, this is super messy to apply. I would always get mascara on my eyelids. I would literally get stressed out when I would have to use this. So as you can see, this is still full because I don't use very often and I will not be using this any longer because as I said, I get super stressed out when I have to use this mascara. It also uh, stamps on my eyelids at the end of the day. So I've decided uh, that I will not be using this any longer. Mm -hmm. uh, so next one, let's talk about this gorgeous, gorgeous mascara. Look at this packaging, I'm obsessed. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury, as always, amazing packaging. So this is the Pillow Top Push-Up Lashes. So this one coats your lashes from root till tip. It gives you very nice, thick, doll-like lashes. Um, as you can see, it has a very silicone brush. Um, the only downside with this mascara is that it uh, stamps on my eyelids. Um, if you don't have this problem, give this mascara a try, it's honestly brilliant. Uh, my colleague uses this and she doesn't have the same issue that I have, like this stamping on the eyelids and her lashes look gorgeous, honestly amazing. Um, as I said, brilliant mascara, um, if you don't have, I guess, uh, oily eyelids, although I don't have oily eyelids, but uh, my lashes are super long. Um, but amazing mascara, only if you don't have the issue with the stamping on your eyelid. Uh, let's talk about some very affordable mascaras, guys. So, CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions. Uh, I've used this um, for a couple of years now. I'm obsessed to the brush on this one. Let me show you. So, as you can see, this is curved. So, what this does it curls your eyelashes very very well and also this mascara keeps the curl all day long uh, same effect as a waterproof mascara would do however this is not waterproof so it's not very difficult to remove but uh, this is amazing it doesn't give you too much volume but it uh, makes your lashes very separated very fluffy very long and as i said it curls your eyelashes very very well so if you want a mascara that will curl your lashes and will hold the curl um just give this a try super affordable i um ordered this from amazon i believe it's like nine pounds or something so super affordable Another one, guys. I've heard about these mascaras. I also have the waterproof one and the orange one, I believe. I'm not sure where they are. Um, but basically, I've been hearing about these mascaras on YouTube. I've been seeing TikToks with these mascaras. Uh, the issue with Essence is that we don't have access to Essence in the UK, in, like in boots and so on, as far as I know. Um, however, I was walking through Wilco the other day and they had the essence stand and I was shocked when I saw this mascara so I grabbed like three of them, uh, all the ones that they had in stock. Um, my favorite so far is this one, again because it has the curved wand as you can see, however, uh, this gives you more volume. This is the mascara I'm using at the moment. And guys, for three pounds, I think this was, if not less, I'm not sure. Amazing, gives you amazing volume, separates your lashes. It's very thick, so it's not very watery. Um, it doesn't stamp on my eyelids, which is, I'm speechless. Like seriously, for three pounds, wow. 
I have no words. Amazing, amazing mascara. Highly recommend. I also tried the blue one that everyone says that it's amazing. That one does stamp on my eyelashes. So be very careful with that. Waterproof is amazing as well. Very difficult to remove, however. And if you love your eyelashes, I would not recommend using that on a regular basis. But uh, this one, the purple one, I really, really like. I also tried the orange one, I believe. I don't remember now. Orange, I think it was. Um, I don't remember anything about it, so I guess I was not impressed, but this one, highly recommend the purple one. This one was a gift from my friend, Renatic, thank you very much. Uh, Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara, very good mascara, I love uh, this one as well. This is very similar to the um, Charlotte Tilbury one, actually, I think they have the same brush, let me show you. So it has the same effect as well. Oopsie. So, yes, same one as you can see more or less, it has the same effect, basically it gives you separated doll-like lashes, uh, this one is very easy to remove with uh, hot water, um, the packaging is gorgeous, I mean, love it, and it's super heavy. I've ordered another one already, um, love, love, love. So I would say at the moment my two favorite mascaras are um, this one from Hourglass and the super affordable one from Essence. Both are great. This one if I want um, doll like separated lashes, this one if I want a bit more volume, I would say. Um, yeah, highly recommend both of them, depending on what budget you are, Hourglass or Essence. <laughs> Uh, next, it's uh, brow gels. I only have four, as you can see. Uh, let's start with my least favorite one. So, mm -hmm. NYX. Uh, this is the... So it's in French. Tinted Brow Mascara. Um, I don't like this. This is super messy. Exactly the same issue as the NARS Climax Mascara. It's super messy. It... Um, would stamp everywhere around my lashes. I don't like the color. This is a bit too warm for my hair tone. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yes, uh, the brush is huge as well for my eyebrows. Super messy, uh, no for me. Um, next one, it's very vital lash. Vital lash, guys, it's um, a very good one. The formula, I love it. Um, it holds your eyebrows in place all day long. As you can see, it's not finished, but I discovered another one, so I can't stop using that other one right now. Hence, why this goes um, to the bin. Yes. So I love this one. This stays in place all day long. However, look at the brush, like. Why is the brush so huge? Let me show you my all-time favorite brow gel so you can understand what I'm talking about. So look at the brush difference. Why? Can you please tell me why? Like, look at this and look at this. No comment, yes. So um, with that being said, let's talk about my all-time favorite brow gel. Uh, this one is the... Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows and mine is in um, dark brown. As I said, love it, obsessed. It keeps your um, brows in place all day long. Look at the brush. It's tiny, I love it. Um, it has a bit of color. Let's see if I can show you. Yes. This is the perfect uh, tone for me, um, yes, love it, highly, highly recommend, I already have a backup of this, um, my all-time favorite so far. I would like to talk about the um, Benefit Brow Setter, 24-hour brow setter as well. This one is a very good um, brow gel as well, I um, use like five of these until I discovered the Charlotte Tilbury one, um, even though the brush on this is very big. It's very flat, as you can see, so it, it's not messy. Uh, this gel is transparent as well, so um, hence why I guess this is not a huge problem. Um, I think this is a very good product if you have uh, naturally very fluffy 
um, full brows and you only basically you don't need color at all you don't need to fill them in uh, the problem i had with this is that if i would apply my um, uh, brow product and after that i would apply this this would take off the actual product from my brows because i have like a bit of uh, a sparse place in here so that would take the product off there uh, other than that it's a very good product it would keep your lashes in place all day long um, this is all i have to say about this brow product next we have foundations as you can see, I only have two. So I'm not a huge makeup fanatic. I don't have too much makeup. I am more of a skincare fan. Uh, hence why uh, only two foundations. I usually have one in my uh, um, makeup routine, to be honest. So first product we will be talking about is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And mine is in shade 2W1 Dawn. Um, this is uh, too heavy for me at the moment, too high coverage. I don't use this one any longer. At the moment, I'm using the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Everyone knows about this foundation. I'll not talk too much about it. I use mine in shade 5.75. Um, one thing, I find this a bit too heavy for me at the moment. I'm not sure what's happening. But yes, I find this a bit too heavyweight for me. So if you guys have any recommendations for a very lightweight um, foundation that makes your skin look beautiful, please, please let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate that. Okay, guys, this was everything for today. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, I shall